gonna see the blue eyes white dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! Come through here by chance, I'm tracking the blue eyes white dragon from the franchise Yu-Gi-Oh! That's all I got. I... I'm a basic bitch. My name is Max Mofo Pokemon, idiot. Take a hint. To be fair, I don't know much about Pokemon either. Huh? Who's the idiot now? All right. Today, we have some Yu-Gi-Oh, some weird ones. Some Yu-Gi-Oh mystery packs. Um, same exact look of the mystery boxes that are done for both Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Definitely by the same shitty, shady repackage company that buys the secondary market and repackages it and sells it for too high of a price. But hey, here we are. Let's see how these packs do. It's essentially, it's just selling one single pack and a rare card. Let's see what we can actually get from these. So the rare card, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. So, um, you know, everything, all the prices and everything done in this video is going to be post, post record. So, hey, maybe we get some cool stuff we don't know about. I don't know. I did see, oh, that is, um, I like that. I like seeing Yugi. Yami, uh, the prince, what the fuck his name is. I did see a lot of comments on my last Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery video that were like, oh, Max, um, you know, you forgot a lot of, uh, of those uncommon cards are actually worth like a, a couple of bucks. Some certain ones that I glossed over. Holy shit. I remember seeing that before. There's, there's a couple of those. Isn't that the Ojamas? Um, so that I'm going to have to do some more research and make sure I get the prices of certain ones that could be worth more. So I'll have to go through all the different cards. Yeah, there we go. Ojama tree. I told you there was a couple of fucking other ones. The Obama boys. All right. Uh, that's what we got in the end. And this is the one that has any holographic. I mean, because obviously, just like Pokemon, there is certain cards which are used in rotation and used to actually play the game. So they end up costing a couple, adding a bit of value to it. We have a Cyanet back door. That looks like the photo of <laughs> the black hole. Eerie. Yu-Gi-Oh Yugi did it first. Fuck off, Simpsons. All right, are we going to have the same pack? For every one of these? Is it just a bunch of dark crisis? Wow, what a mystery. Let's just open up another one straight away just to confirm that we get three out of three dark crisis. We have as a, ooh, a blue one in there. Okay, binary sorceress. A lot of sort of cyber and digital stuff in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh these days. Epic. All right, now let's see what pack we get. It is, ooh, okay, we've got some different stuff. Also with uh, our pointy-haired protagonist on the front, Invasion of Chaos. All right, let's open up the Invasion of Chaos and see what we can get. We have, I don't know the formula to do it, so we're just going straight into each one of the Molten Zombie. We've got DNA Transplant. We have a fucking wolf. Uh, whoops, oh shit. Okay, we've got um, Wheatley from... Portal 2, what's he doing in there? Uh, up next, we've got a broad with a sword. We got Primal Seed. Oh, I think we opened one of these before because I remember making a joke about my Primal Seed or something like that in the, the other one that we did. And we have um, a guy that looks like he was rejected from being the protagonist, so they just made him into a shitty card. It is called Underdog as well, quite fittingly. Um, and then we have Gollum from Pokemon. Oh, never mind, it's actually Balloon Lizard from Shrek. <laughs> Oh wait, no, those are frogs. Dark Crisis, baby! I'm having a midlife Dark Crisis. We got quarter life Crisis. We don't do it. I keep fucking instinctually trying to go one to the front. I love when the, the names get too long in Yu-Gi-Oh. They just sort of fucking smush the text. Dark Scorpion hyphen space. Gorg the Strong. Good one, Yu-Gi-Oh. Just make your fucking text work for all text forms. Goblin of Greed. Okay, we've got- okay, is he holding the pot of greed? He is! It's the pot of greed! What is the- what's the pot of greed do? I play the magic card, pot of greed. It allows me to draw two cards from my deck. The magic card, pot of greed! Thanks to this card, I can now draw two new cards from my deck, Kaiba. I'll play this, my pot of greed. A magic card that allows me to draw two more cards from my deck. Yeah, see, Yu-Gi-Oh fans, I'm in with your fucking jokes. Marju, Marju Gazette, I see a lot of Marju. Um, Agito, looks like something out of um, Legend of Zelda. And then we have Shooting Star Bow. 
See you. Which pod is this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, now, before we go on, I do just want to say, not every pack we're opening here today is this specific mystery pack. We have this dog, this is probably even more dog shit. 25 cards plus one rare, AKA a bunch of the packs they opened back when the staff were bored, they decided, hey, let's just chuck that in another fucking thing. Great. Very epic. Let's see what we have from this. Is the, oh my god, it's, a, it's actually a fair bit of bulk, it feels like. Uh, well, I mean, it's 25 cards. It feels like more than 25. Blast Sphere, Ogermanic, we've got Barrel Dragon, Panzer, fucking and hell. I ain't gonna sit around here, going through all these. It's got, oh my god, I remember that. It's got, it's surely, there's gotta be nothing that can be randomly, what? That the rare? Oh, that's the rare, they put it um, the other way around, okay. Lumina, Luma. Is this Rose? Oh my god, it's Rosalina! Guys, look at her with her two Lumas! Uh, Lumina Light Sworn Summoner. Okay. We've got a dog. We got that one before as well, I remember. Um, they definitely just opened a bunch of the same packs that are sealed in this and chucked them into an extra fucking thing. We've got Steelix. Okay, Pokemon much. Um, Cyber El Eltonin. Shut up, Dad! I'll visit soon! I'm busy! Um, so all in all, we should have 10 uh, booster packs here to open, and two of them will be these. Legendary Duelist. They've just actually sealed two packs away in here, so at least you know what you're getting with this. And we have two in here, and then we have another one of this, so we'll have four of these packs to open. Let's crack- ooh, this is- this feels thinner, I think? First edition, Legendary Duelist, White Dragon, Abyss. Let's see what we can get. This feels definitely like there's less cards. This might be a weird, like, um, promotional set or something. Bruh. We've got Bingo Machine Go at the old folks' home. You go, Dorothy, you senile old bitch. Um, and then we have, Jesus Christ. Is this a DMT trip? Abyss actor comic? Relief? Ain't nothing comical about that. You know what? The Yu-Gi-Oh! world is fucked up. This is interesting on the back of uh, the booster pack. It says, entire set includes 29 common cards, 10 rare cards, 8 super rare, and 9 ultra rares. So, it seems like a, a small set as well, and then you only get um, a couple of cards in it. I'm not, not sure how Yu-Gi-Oh! works, but HOLY SHIT! BLUE EYES WHITE DRAGON BABY! I KNEW I SAW YOU FLY IN THE ROOM IN THE INTRO! Very epic Blue Eyes uh, reprint there. And we have Dragon Shrine. A little sort of poker pen to put up, draw up Blue Eyes. Let him play with the other probably million dragons that are in this uh, world. There you go, there's one straight away. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Ooh! That looks, it looks like it could be, could be something. That's kind of beautiful. And then on the very end, we've got a Abyss, Abyss Script Romantic Terror. A little bit of a play on um, Romeo and Juliet there. With some sort of 10th dimensional magician, spirit, cyborg, skeleton. Alrighty, let's do the bulk one again. Uh, I think this is uh, the only other- Oh, fuck! Have they put the rare on just the back of this one? This completely rare. It depends which shitty um, sweatshop worker is working on the day, how he feels about it. We've got a dual. Assemblom, Worm, um, unless we have another rare that's sort of flipped around in the middle as well. Um, have some continuity, guy. Ooh, what's that? That looks very normal. Where art thou? Something about a shrine of the dogs or something? Moon Mirror Shield, Cosmic Cyclone, Mind Control, Gold Sarcophagus, fucking hell. I'm telling you, what is this? Yu-Gi-Oh is whack! Yu-Gi-Oh is so terrifying. If it wasn't so cartoony, I feel like it would definitely match um, the creepiness of LOOK AT THE- I TOLD YOU! Have I been laced with something? Yeah, like Magic the Gathering. Speaking of, I do definitely need to do another Magic the Gathering episode. If I had more requests, I probably would do them, but- Oh yeah, another one I need to do, um, again, is the Dragon Ball cards. Alright, another mystery pack. What the fuck was I talking about? Sorry, I get, um, my train of thought's gone, I just get lost and ended up on a tangent. We have a dual Asimp Worm, we've already got, we've just got two of these now. And we have a Invasion of Chaos, I've got a feeling we're just gonna be seeing Invasion of Chaos and, uh, Dark Crisis. We've got, who do we have? Is this Groot? Is that, that is terrifying. Jesus Christ. Uh, we've got Barack Obama again, Oja- Ojama Black. Um, Tower of Babel, 
Babel, Babel. Oh, Big Burn. You gotta love the just the name variations. Sometimes you got something like this, Mandrew of the Ten Thousand Hands, and then you know you flip it over, you have Big Burn. Love it. All right, up next we've got Berserk Gorilla. Jesus Christ, rest in peace, Harambe. Am I right? Everyone press like if you understood that that internet reference. You, you know what I'm saying, guys? Harambe died for our sins. Okay, the year is 2019. We have Cannonball Spear Shellfish. Who is making these? Who is making this? What is happening here? Okay, we have Gren Maju da Isa. And then we've got Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, and then Ryu Koki. This shit is terrifying! He is made, he is literally made from human skulls. This is what I'm talking about. If this wasn't, if all of this artwork wasn't so cartoony, I feel like it'd be worse than Magic the Gathering. I, I, they need to make a really adult adaptation of just this world of Yu-Gi-Oh, the card game. Like the monsters in the card game, not as cards. This dude sort of looks like a humanid form of Slifer the Sky Dragon, sort of. Now, let us open up another double pack um, for the same. Same two five pack ones here. Legendary Duelist, White Dragon, Abyss. And see how we do. Flip it around. We have a very cute looking Blackwing bird. Blackwing Oro Oroshi the Squall. And we have Cyber Twin Dragon, that looks pretty crazy. Um, uh, Abyss Actors Backstage. What is this? What is the Ab Abyss Actors? Why? Someone fill me in on this lore. I kind of like the world of Yu-Gi-Oh quite a lot, actually. Like, a, a lot of these different arcs. Uh, we have the Abyss. Like, what, what's this whole Abyss thing? The Abyss Playhouse Fantastic Theater. That's some crazy shit going on. We're seeing a lot of uh, repeats of different characters. I keep... Seeing this girl, which is sort of like a weird version of uh, Dark Magician. I've got no idea from what year these packs are or anything, but they have Kaiba on the front with his blue eyes. 2017. Eh, I mean, they're not that old, really. Time does fly, though. We've got the same exact bird. We have another blue eyes. Very cool. I'd love to see a shiny version of that. Into another double of the Dragon Shrine. And okay, my prayers were just answered. We just got a, some sort of blue eyes card as, um... A holographic. Look at their eyes. Look at their beautiful eyes shining. Rage with eyes of blue. A very epic uh, spell card. And then on the end, we have one that has a holographic title. Photon Change. He's getting di digital. Sort of pixelated out his cock and balls. Woo! All right. We have... Wait. That <laughs> Am I an idiot? Yes. The answer is yes. Okay. No. No! I thought I had... I thought that... <sighs> well... Looks like it's time to do our burning shadows. Um, I think we've run out of this one as well. As always, we have our Lucario coin. I'm just going to get a loose pack for today. Can't even remember where the fuck this has come from. Might be from a booster box. Who knows? Here, whoop, whoops, there is the code card. One, two, three, to the front. Get rid whoop, of the water energy. Curlia. We've got the Rabombi. Fucking frog. Fish! Horse! Fat reverse! Thick fat fuck! And on the end, a bug! Oh, she bad. Alright, let's see how the boys are doing today. Bulbasaur? You've got some... So, yeah, Bulbasaur's coming back to life. The rest of them are cursed. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Sorry, Evie. I just fucking hate you so much. Okay, the whole room smells like burning plastic. I think I'm getting cancer now. Um, I'm going to throw in a bonus one. We're going to bring it from 10 up to 11. New low price, extreme value. This was probably going to be something I'd use in some sort of bargain episode, but um, I'm going to throw in an additional pack for you guys. It does feel like another one of those five card packs. Pendulum Evolution. First edition, English. Holy shit. Oh, it's one of these ones that... Why do they feel so thin? It feels so fucking thin. It's one of these ones that has... Every card is um, a, a rare or whatever, um, all holographic in some way. Harmonizing Magician, Zephyr Divine Strike, Olifort Monolith. Okay, Space Odyssey. We have a rare... Um, and here's the one that's on the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I wish the best for all of you. If you would like to buy um, a mofo hat or a mofo shirt, you can do that by clicking the link at the top of the description below. If you do buy anything else on that website besides 
YouTuber merch. You can use code MOFO for 10% off. That does support me. Otherwise, you can click a video on screen uh, to see something else. Even if you haven't seen it, it does help the channel. You can press the like button. You can press the fucking subscribe button. You can smack the bell button. Leave a, a suggestion below. And I'll, hopefully, I'll see you in two or three days.